surprised that they were there? No, well, I looked at some of them, but now I'm thinking I should look at some Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're yeah. all different to the, uh, to, to the different cars. Yeah, they're period. Say hi to the camera. No? You've been trailing me all day and stopping when you see me, so say hi. <laughs> say hi to Santa Claus. Come on, man. Thank you. I worked all the time. I've been around for years since I was little. I was a motor mm -hmm. and I worked together just almost every line. Oh, wow. But so we never had a problem. See, the one thing we learned yeah. when we were in the train, yeah. the train operators and the have to communicate with each other. Exactly, yeah. They like to let know when the train's going to leave or like there's an issue. Yeah. Yes. And we never yeah. had an issue. The way we were trained, like seriously, like just like that. Yeah. Yes. But uh, I go around since I was little. All right. And Ralph actually let me take a picture of when I was little, when I was his age. And done. Uh, what a, one subway car, your brother. I know all about the subway car. Like, uh, the last part of the subway car you run were the R26, R36 red lines. All right. All right. IRT. Yes, IRT. The numbered lines. What? Did you operate the tens and regular service? No. I did. I broke in on the R10s. Oh, these are the R10s. The R10s got scrapped in 1989. I was a motivant from 88 for the R10s. 99. Yeah. Was it like on the A or C line? Yes. And the G. Oh, they were on the D. Yes, they were. He doesn't believe that the R10s got scrapped. There were 220 of them repainted, rebuilt. I know, and they got painted green. Yes, they were. But before, but after this, they were still before they were green. He doesn't, but my father doesn't believe that they got scrapped in 1989, sir. Can I ask, can I ask you a question? Yes. The R32. Right. And I later found out the R42 also is the last trains that are running with the front window blam right against the track. The rail stand Wait, window. Yeah, yeah. Like these. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, like these. Yes. yes. What do you think about that they should have a fleet of those trains that you could, the kids can still, because most of these kids, they get in that first car and what they want to do is get in that window. Yeah. What do you think about the MTA keeping a fleet of those trains? It's good. Operational. Yes. Yeah. Or even they are the best running, the older equipment is the better running equipment today. You think so? Yeah. What about you? Did you check out that 211? Yeah. They are 211. They haven't even been. They haven't built them yet, but no. did you go to Hudson Yard and checked it out when they were the exhibit? I saw pictures. Okay, okay, okay. What do you think of it? Just the pictures. Because you were a motorman, right? Yeah. yeah. For okay. 11 years. Okay.
Okay. I know the I know the system. I know the equipment. Yeah. I knew. So Scott, you're so I you're retired Scott. and staying at home now? I did no. I only did twelve years in the system. Okay, so why you only did twelve? I had my reasons. Okay. 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 Well, you know, we all we're entitled. We are entitled to our reasons. But you, but something else. But you do feel strongly that that front window view yes. is something that should be preserved in any future train. Yes. Thank you. You're <laughs> And I see you have a nice camera there, man. But are you truly, really, and truly interested in photography? Okay, great, great. Nice here. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Why don't you get lifted and I'm just going to look down here a little bit, alright? Yeah. Now, look, the fans are different, the lakes are different. The lights are the same. Yes, each car is different. Yes, yeah. So is this car different? Yes, yes. But you, yeah. That looks like Different year, different model. Like this year, Ford was kicking butt all summer. You know, Chevy had to take a back seat. But I have a feeling that Chevy is gearing up for something. Excuse me, sir. Uh, from what period are you from? Your dress. 30s, 40s. 30s, 40s? Okay. Are you going out to party in that era tonight? No, just uh, hanging with my friends. Just hanging, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy New Year. Same to you, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. Well, I ran into a so you're taking videos also, man? Or are you just taking pictures? Just pictures? No video? Okay. Okay. So. So why are you by yourself? No brothers, no sisters? <laughs> okay, that's that's another way to do it. That's another way to do it. That's another way to do it. <laughs> These posters are great. Now, for you guys who think I Heinz only do ketchup. Wow, like that's the vinegar. Is right. when he's supposed to be part of that time? It's like you got to you pick up the transfer at 3 a.m. Right. Obviously, it's 3 p.m. Was it 12 hours? Past 12 hours? It was showing at 1.47 a.m. when I checked it out. For the same day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Can't move that. <laughs> He's trying to move it. <laughs> I think they dis I do think they disassembled it on you, buddy. <laughs>
Where did this happen, sir? Fordham and Jerome. And Jerome, how long ago? Oh, several years back. Several. When you were younger? When I was I was working then. <laughs> you're re, you're retired now. You're re I, I was a podcast. We heard it on the radio. Oh, okay. And we were trying to figure out how could you get one train to hit two people on the platform and kill both of them, and that was the story we got. Whoa. Oh, the one you told me about the guy that was looking at the room. So one guy got hit and he got knocked into another knocked person? into the other person. Wow. Oh, and both of them got killed by the train. Yep. Yeah. Thankfully today, unless someone intentionally jumps in front of it, you know, or it may have happened that way. Well, no, he didn't jump. He was looking for it. He just stuck his head out there when the train was coming. Oh, he was staying. He so, ran up the stairs to catch yeah. the train. And didn't and he, see where he placed his feet, so he was, yeah, he was right there. The train was right there and hit him in the face. Whoa. <laughs> and then the other guy, yeah, at 34th of Pentecost, that happened. We heard the whole thing. Well, that's the way it usually happens. One sudden move, unless you're intentionally committing eerie keery. How are you doing, ma'am? What do you think about these trains? You do it every year? I, I totally agree. As a young, a young child going to elementary school, I had the pleasure of riding on steam, a steam train, of all things. Yes? When they were in regular service. <laughs> okay. And you still enjoying them because because you, you look like you've had a, a, a nice, calm life. No? Oh, this is your calm time now. <laughs> it does, it does, it does. Have a nice day. <laughs> have a new, have a better new year if the last year wasn't good. <laughs> Why? <laughs> You'll be all right. You, you just remember each day that you get up, it's a new day. Yeah. And, and whatever you want for yourself, you start living it from that day forward. Yeah, that's right. Oh, 
I believe it was Timmy. I delivered the bomb in August, and it turned around and got back to Pearl Harbor, and it was attacked by a Japanese submarine, and it was torpedoed and sank. And because it was on a secret mission, the Navy didn't miss it. So the guys were out there floating, and they survived, and they were floating in the water, and most of the crew was eaten by sharks. Yeah, that's true. And some high school kid about 10 or 15 years ago had a terminator about the Americans. And so the survivors finally got like their purple arms. A lot of steps. Some were like, well, I haven't found that yet, but it has to be pre World War II. Yeah, pre World War II. He's telling a story pertaining to that about secret missions in uh, World War II and the military service using some kind of a train or equipment before the Japanese attack but it wasn't mentioned anywhere after because it was on a secret mission. <laughs> Find a friend you haven't seen in years. Just say hi with a smile. Cause this is lovely. There is no tears. Yeah. So, just, I just got it. Yeah, I know, I got a haircut. So, how are you? Hey, what's up, Tyler? I'm not gonna say a word right now. Hey, yo, dude. What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Wait, 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 who is this? I don't know. Jordan! Mm -hmm. Yo, you look mad different. What is this? What is this? What is this? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, his glasses. Yeah, I know. Oh, shit. Yeah, you should have seen the film. He's here. He's in the dust thing. Wait, Nick, where is he? Uh, where are you? What, what era are you dressed as? I'm a newsboy from the 30s. <laughs> oh, Mr. Kent. Mm -hmm. Mr. Kent. Clark Kent? No? Maybe. I'm um, Clark Jimmy Olsen? Jimmy Olsen? No, no. I don't know. I'm just a He's a newsboy. He's a newsboy. So that camera's from the 30s also? <laughs> what do you guys think? You think he's a, he? You think he could make a newsboy? You think he's inquisitive enough? Yeah. You think he's keen? Yeah. You think he's got a nose for the stories? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah? You think he's got a nose for the stories? <laughs> oh, uh. Yo, look at this one last night from Castleton. Oh, yeah, the pre-one, right? Yeah, I like, I like the pre-one. You guys are train hunters? Yeah, look at this one last night. Look. Mm -mm. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Okay. Merry Christmas to you guys. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Celebrate. Yeah. Celebrate. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> That was you that walked through the train and said Merry Christmas, right? Yes. 
Okay. Happy holiday. I'm just trying to get you guys all these great posters. <laughs> 